Hello everyone, Manny here, and today we're trying to figure out how to use logic gates to make our settlements better and also to add a little bit of a booby trap for settlement attackers. Um, this one took me quite a while, I actually had to do a lot of research on the wiki to try to figure it out, and basically that's just because Bethesda's explanation about the uh, logic gates was a little lacking. So we're going to go through a little bit of uh, tutorials as we set it up. Uh, and basically what we're doing is we're setting up uh, a system where our front door will close, but we activate our settlement defenses. Now I'll just let you guys think about that for a little bit on what we're actually going to do with uh, suddenly activating our settlement defenses. So let's go on ahead and get started. Okay, before we get started, I just want to say that this is kind of what I've just kind of pounded out with the hammer, uh, so to speak. So I'm pretty sure there's a lot more ways to do this, a lot of different cool things that you can do. I saw some really amazing stuff online, honestly, but uh, this is going to serve our purpose. So we'll start here. Uh, if you guys want to know some more, just let me know in the comments. All right. So. In order to get this to work, we're going to need a NAND logic gate and a NOR logic gate. Now, what the NAND says is that it transmits power unless all inputs have power. Okay, and the NOR says transmit power when no inputs have power. So basically, uh, Fallout didn't really explain this too well. When it says that all inputs have power, what it means is that the red uh, diode on the logic gate uh, actually has more than one connection. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna give it two uh, power feeds, but we're gonna go through our siren with it. I'm gonna go on ahead and, and hook this up step by step. Okay, so we're gonna hook our siren up and then we're gonna put our siren uh, here to the red. Okay, and if you notice, that completes the circuit. So now, Whatever we hook up to this black connector, let's say the door, will open. And that's awesome. But what we wanted was we wanted to be able to turn off the door or close the door as soon as the siren turned on. And we kind of got that right now. We can go ahead and test it real quick. So the siren comes on, the door closes, whoop de whoop. And that's really the primary use that I've seen. Uh, for these uh, logic gates. There's also a way that you can do an automatic door kind of like how I did But it uh, doesn't use a delay switch. We'll talk about that in another video Okay, now for me what's really like tweaking me is that Okay, if you have a very large settlement with a lot of food uh, Of course, you're gonna need a lot of settlement defense, right? But what happens if you don't have a lot of settlement defense? Well, you get attacked. Now, what happens if you have gunner cages? You get attacked by gunners. Yeah, now you guys are kind of seeing what I'm talking about now, I'm sure. Uh, if not, what we're going to do is we're going to set it up so that half our settlement defense is always inactive. And in order to do that, we're going to go ahead and put one more logic gate. So we're going to use the NOR this time. It doesn't matter if you snap them. I just kind of like to snap them. Okay, and basically what the NOR gate says is that it will transmit power when there is no power being transmitted. Now, the cool part is that it's only going to let me put it where it needs to go. Uh, and it wants my output from the NAND gate to go to my input of the NOR gate. <laughs> okay, and then our output from the NOR gate is going to go to our just our rocket turret right here. And that's pretty much it. So let's just see it in action. See how it works. Awesome. Awesome. Now, how well it works, I'm not really too sure. Uh, considering that the settlers have to actually activate the siren, we're going to go ahead and set up a real world test for this. But I just kind of wanted to get it out the way of how the logic gates work and a couple of cool things you can do to, I guess, not necessarily make your life easier, but make some cool contraptions. So I'm going to keep working with these as well uh, because I got a couple of ideas of other things I want to work on. But anyways, I'll see you guys at the settlement. All right. And we finally did it. 
Okay, so what I did is I actually like made a settlement. Uh, I guess this is going to be part of another video where I'm just, I made a settlement that was meant to be attacked. Uh, so basically we're fully walled in, double walled. Uh, I do have a door at the bottom. We can go check that out. That does open and close. I kind of patched that hole up. Um, right, so this will be our like main settle settlement entrance way. But if you guys notice, we've got zero defense. And that's not a technicality on my part. It's kind of what we're trying to do here. Um, you see, by having the guard posts, we should have about enough defense to keep the settlers from hating. We might have to add a machine gun turret here or there, but the bulk of our defense is not active. Uh, as you guys can see, we have quite a few uh, missile turrets out here. Quite a few, even one back there. So uh, we're getting it. Uh, we have lots of water. Uh, I believe we'll have about 100 food. Uh, I have to wait till I get my settlers. Uh, but let me go on ahead and talk to everybody uh, the setup. So the first thing I did was I took all my rocket turrets and I placed them down. Then I powered them all to themselves. Uh, and I used like conduit here and there uh, just to make it clean. So basically all the uh, missile turrets are on their own circuit. Okay, and they're all connected to this line. And I have this line coming out over here over the power generator. Okay, now right here we have our siren. And our siren is connected to our NAND gate and our NOR gate. We'll talk about that in a minute. Okay, so down here we have our rolling metal door, and this is our entrance way to our settlement. Uh, we used a wall pass by or wall through bypass to get the door powered, and then I raised up the conduit and sent it over the wall out here to where the uh, generator is. Okay, so here's where it gets a bit tricky. So, like we talked about earlier in the video, we used our NAND gate and our NOR gate to set up a system where our doors would close and our settlement defense would activate. So, at this point now, uh, I guess I'll just show everyone the test and then I need to fill this place up with some settlers and then really get to see what this is going like. And as simple as this. Now, what I'm thinking is that because I have my siren uh, close to my guard post, I'm hoping the guard post guy just comes over here and hits it. If not, I don't know. We'll work about that in the future. Anyways, let me fill this up with some settlers and then we'll see what it really does. Oh, here, you guys can go on his head and see. Yeah, when we're activated, we have 105 defense. All right, I'm just gonna add this. Uh, I used the Vault Tech population management system that came in the Vault Tech DLC to auto assign the food and the defense. I think this is like the easiest settlement setup I think I've ever had, man. All right, so we're getting there. Uh, it looks like 12 defense is not gonna be enough. So let's like scatter us a few of these uh, regular turrets around maybe that can uh, help us I guess fight the difference a bit uh, actually I do have a spot for these yeah let's see how many we're gonna need one okay so we only need one cool cuz like I want my settlement defense to be as low as possible to entice uh, attacks so I guess this really isn't enough. Uh, the next thing I believe we're going to have to set up is <laughs> some gunner cages, man. Well, I guess we have to decide what we want to get uh, attacked by. I'm thinking gunners, though, because they got the most expensive loot. So let me get let me get a couple of cages set up along the perimeter and then we'll be ready to go.
Hi, how are you? Well, as you can see, it does work. It's a little buggy. We had to make a few adjustments from the original build. Uh, namely, we had to put the siren in a more accessible place, but that was nothing for us. We just moved it down there. Uh, apparently, these guys won't leave their posts to uh, get the siren. And I doubt you'll have to go to uh, the extremes I went to to get this to work properly it's just i wasn't getting attacked so we kind of sped the time up anyways uh if you guys are brave enough to try it at your settlements let me know how it works out man i'm kind of interested in this to see if like maybe you can deflect the hate at other settlements by making this settlement number one uh anyways thanks for watching guys like share subscribe and stay tuned for more fun this is manny take care